Marie Antonescu here to talk about ultrasound safety in pregnancy. My goal is to present information that help people take their health care into their own hands. You can take this information and these resources and figure out if ultrasounds are right for you in your pregnancy. I like to encourage unapologetic questioning and personal decision making. So ultrasounds come with this assumed safety. In the United States, most women in pregnancy get one or more ultrasounds with this assumed safety. Interestingly though, routine ultrasounds in healthy pregnancies are not found to improve outcomes and at times increase maternal stress due to inaccurate readings because human error is real. <laughs> Studies on ultrasound safety in pregnancy were done back when the machines had 10 to 15 percent less energy output than the machines do now. And the studies with those machines showed that ultrasound definitely affects the cells of the fetus. We just don't know what these effects mean on the growing fetus. A modern ultrasound machine output has increased at least tenfold and the output varies from machine to machine and depending on who's operating it. And operators don't always have the skill to adjust the output. An FDA biomedical engineer says, ultrasound can heat tissue slightly and in some cases it can also produce very small bubbles, cavitation, in some tissues. So because of this, the FDA discourages ultrasound use without medical indication, such as 3D prints, gender revealing, keepsake videos, or any other time that ultrasounds aren't medically necessary, because we don't know what these little air bubbles in the heating of the tissue does. We do know that ultrasound helps cells grow, proliferate, and that's why ultrasounds can be used in injury repair. But what does that mean when it's, when it's causing unnatural cell division in a fetus? I don't know. Hopefully someday we will know. What do ultrasounds do to a fetus? We don't totally know. <laughs> the sound waves bounce off the fetus and can cause the fetus to vibrate. Many practitioners have noticed the fetus will actually move away from the ultrasound waves. Um, ultrasound stimulates cell division, like I had said. So, and again, we don't know what the effect of that is on the fetus. The output of ultrasound is loud underwater. So from that, we can guess that it's gonna be loud to the baby as well, who is surrounded in amniotic fluid. There are definitely more questions than answers when it comes to ultrasounds. Ultrasounds can be beneficial and they can have a place in pregnancy um, when appropriately used, like any tool, really. So in Sweden, a study with 581 pregnant people compared measurements, measurements via the midwife, compared with measurements via the ultrasound, and concluded that the hands of a skilled midwife or doctor are more accurate than ultrasounds for assessing inner uterine growth restrictions. So their concluding words were, measurements of the uterus size are more effective than ultrasonic measurements for antenatal diagnosis of interuterine growth retardation. So the hands of a midwife or doctor measuring externally the size of the uterus, it was shown to be more accurate than ultrasound readings for growth restrictions. And I want to put in a little personal story here. <laughs> when my oldest was in utero, I was working with a midwife, a home birth midwife. And at the prenatals, we noticed there was, um, I was small for dates. And we just kept watching it. I was trying to eat more. But it just kept coming up, the small for dates with the measurement and the hands on my abdomen. And so eventually, she suggested, let's do an ultrasound just to make sure everything is going fine. And before that, I did not want to have an ultrasound because I always thought it's dark in there for a reason. I don't need to go peeking inside. 
so I did go for an ultrasound and I found that there was indeed something going on and was able to change my birth plans because of it in a way that I felt um, helped me with the birth, I guess. I changed my birth plans for my daughter, though with what we had, other people had done home births. It was gastroschisis and other people had done home births with that with fine results. But in our case, we moved to a hospital with that information. So in my case, ultrasound used appropriately was a great tool. When I was pregnant with my youngest, I did, did not have any ultrasounds at all. I just kept in mind that if something came up, that it was there if I needed it and nothing came up and all was well. So, no personal story. If you want to take charge of your ultrasounds, here are some things that you can keep in mind. Do you want an ultrasound? Why do you want an ultrasound? What information are you wanting from the ultrasound? Can the ultrasound give you that information and can it give it to you accurately? What will you do with the information that the ultrasound gives you? If the answer is nothing, then why do the ultrasound? And again, it is your choice. I'm just putting out these questions so you can think it through yourself. How will the information change your pregnancy? Is it worth the unknown risks of an ultrasound? And if yes, you want to go ahead and get an ultrasound, there are a few more things you could think about if you want. You could request that the ultrasound only be done for what you're looking for. That would decrease the amount of time the ultrasound waves are bouncing off the fetus, the baby. You could have them be quick and only look at that specific thing. You could talk to the technician about reducing output of the machine to the minimum needed. And again, some technicians don't know how to do this, so you may have to call around. Definitely work with a provider who respects your wishes. Maybe an ultrasound tech was taught that ultrasounds are safe, and so they don't understand why you're questioning. You know, it's still okay to question, and it's also okay to work with a different tech. And they don't even have to believe anything as long as they're respecting your wishes. Like if they're going to do what you're asking, that's fine. You don't have to convince them of anything. Though if you want to, there'll be resources below. So again, done routinely during pregnant, healthy pregnancies, ultrasounds offer no improved outcome. Know, that a, know what a healthy pregnancy looks like. Know what a healthy pregnancy feels like. Work with someone who knows what healthy pregnancies look like. Pregnancy is not a pathology. Ultrasound technology is a helpful tool when used appropriately. Because it has been assumed to be safe with incomplete evidence and is routine, routinely used, we parents need to get informed and take charge of our bodies and our pregnancies. I truly believe that parenting starts in pregnancy and we decide what's best for our families. If you are interested in looking up more information about ultrasounds, I will list below different studies and sources I used. And then also this Gentle Birth, Gentle Mothering by Dr. Sarah Buckley is great, has a lovely section. You can find parts of it online as well. Thanks for watching.